Okay, so question number eight. What is the Lewis dot structure of caffeine? Show all the electron pair electrons. What is the hybridization of the indicated electrons? Okay, so they already drew out the main structure of caffeine. And basically, we just need to add all of the lone pairs, if applicable. Let me just draw out the molecule. Okay, so I just drew what was given in the question. And basically, we just need to show um, all the lone pairs. Uh, so basically, all of the nitrogens will have a single lone pair. Just to complete their octet. And finally, both of the double bonded oxygens will contain two lone pairs. Okay, so this is the Lewis dot structure of caffeine. And now we need to know the hybridization of each of the indicated atoms. So this is pointing at, I believe the carbon right here. And we are looking at this nitrogen, which is B. And then finally, this carbon here, which is C. Okay, so one way I like to figure out the hybridization of an atom is just to find the number of charge clouds. So I'll explain what the term charge clouds means. Find number of charge clouds. So what I mean by charge cloud, this can either be a lone pair or it could be a bond pair. Or like a bonded atom. And after you count out how many charge clouds you have, this will help you when you find out your hybridization. So we have sp3 hybridization when we have four charge clouds. We have sp2 and there are three. And we have sp when we only have two. Okay, so now let's look at the atoms that they give us. So carbon is like right here. So if we count out its number of charge clouds, there are no lone pairs on this carbon, but it is bonded to three other atoms. So therefore, this is going to be sp2. Now let's look at B. This is our nitrogen. It has one lone pair and two bonded atoms. So that means it has three charge clouds as well. And it will also be sp2. And lastly, this carbon contains three bonded atoms to two nitrogens and a hydrogen. So C is also sp2. So an example of sp3 
would be like this carbon right here. It's bonded to three hydrogens and a nitrogen, so that's four bonded atoms, or four charged clouds, so this would be sp3. And there's no example of any sp atoms, but an example, I'll just write one down here, would be if you had carbon that was triple bonded to another carbon. Uh, this central carbon has only two charge clouds, so this would just be sp. Okay, so that's a brief explanation on how one can calculate hybridization. Now let's see what the junior tutor said. They drew out the Lewis structure and said that all of the atoms had an sp2 hybridization, so this solution is correct. Thank you.